Hi, this is Manisha and welcome to the villages of long neck tribes of Karen and the Lisu tribes of Northern Thailand. Age of innocence, oblivious of the tourist in flux. Long neck Karen women are famous for the many brass rings adorning their necks and sometimes under the knees. From a very young age, brass rings are put around on the girl's neck as a beauty enhancement and continuously added to creating a long neck over the time. What's her name? Mulai. My, my name Mulai. Mulai. What's your name? My name Mashu. Mashu. What's Mama's name? Mapa. Okay. After about two years of wearing these rings, the neck muscles become too weak to support their heads, so they are unable to remove their rings. It's generally considered the greater the number of rings, the greater the beauty. Some of these women have as many as 26 rings around their necks. Women are skilled weavers and make beautiful clothes and handicrafts. They live in bamboo stilt houses built on stilts with domestic animals living under the house. The major hill tribes of northern Thailand are Karen, Lahu, Lizu, Hemong, Akha, Lawa, Yao and Padom, living in Thailand for about 200 years, but their origins go back to about 2000 years to Tibet. From there, the nomadic lifestyle took them to Yuan area of southern China and from there through Myanmar and Laos into Thailand itself. These are some beautiful tribal women, young and old, with unbelievably large ear holes for magnificent earrings and dangles. Jewelry designers can take a clue from them. Living close to Chiang Mai, Thailand's northern capital, they continue to follow a lifestyle virtually identical to their ancestors in Tibet. Friends, what you are looking here is the Lizu village. The main livelihood is farming and craftsmanship. Often because of their colorful dressing, they are called the flowery Lizu. It's a rare privilege to be with this gentle, fearless people as they face the wave of future and modernity. Hope you enjoyed this very special journey. Thanks for watching.